got a few birch trees that grew in my yard just by themselves since we bought the house. And, you know, they looked okay, so I left them and they grew pretty big. Um, here's, here's one behind me here. <laughs> it's a pretty good size. I have to rearrange my patio a bit. Um, here and there's one behind it there. Um, over here we got two more. They go pretty tall. Uh, can't really see the top there, but pretty tall. There used to be a third down here, but it died. So I had to cut that one down right there. I had to cut that one down last year. And the other thing, this one here, the biggest one, started getting these things last year, these little holes. And that's a uh, birch borer, another one. And it pretty much killed the tree. So the whole top of it died. So I cut it off. Yeah, you can see there, cut it off. And I, when I cut it off, it filled my entire backyard. I was able to drop it right, right down the space I have in the backyard without hitting anything. I thought I was, I was lucky, and cut it up. And I was, we don't have fireplace, so can't really do anything with the wood. So I thought maybe I can make something. <laughs> I don't really have the right, you know, the right equipment, but I've got a table saw. I got a chainsaw. So I cut them into lengths, a couple of meters long, six feet for Americans, and I thought I'd try cutting them into boards, which was way harder than I thought. Turns out holding a few hundred pounds of wood, getting it through the table saw, which doesn't go all the way through, only goes about halfway, so you gotta flip it and trying to line up all those cuts. You can get a little jig for your chainsaw. I should have probably done that because that might've worked better. But in the end, I got some boards, but had a lot of waste because a lot of things didn't line up too well and so the boards I decided to make something with them I made a couple things and here's one I made this bench um, had the bench and the wood on it had uh, rotted so I needed new wood anyway and I thought you know what would that be cool if the tree that was right there could end up staying nearby and be a bench it worked out pretty good uh, enough wood to do this anyway it's a little bit warped you can probably see this one's a little bent because when it dried i didn't let the wood dry enough before i cut it it was very very white as well so i so i ended up staining it as a long story i i put some uh, varathane on it but it, it it sort of uh got mildew underneath varathane so i ended up stripping that off and staining it and putting wax on so i think that looks okay steamed wax which would probably last pretty well and it's kind of a neat thing to do with the, tr the wood I had from the tree. I had to cut down two of the birch. I didn't really make that clear, but I had to cut down two of the trees because they were dying and uh, use some wood from that also to make a compost bin. I'll show you that one. So yeah, there's the rest of the rest of the wood I got from the birch trees. There's a bit left, but wasn't a lot because like I said there was a lot of waste and it's not the straightest tree they weren't the straightest trees either so it's hard getting boards that were long out of it but that's good good to use it for some useful purpose and gave the rest of it to my neighbor down the street who has a fireplace so Romeo got to use the rest of it to heat his house over the winter I guess so it all got to put to good use because we can't actually do much with wood like that here. We have to pay <laughs> to drop it off at the recycling place, which I didn't really want to do. It's $100 a ton or something like that, so probably would have had to pay 100 bucks to <laughs> get rid of it that way, and <laughs> composting it here would have taken forever. You can cut it down into smaller pieces, and they'll take the smaller, smaller things, less than uh, five centimeters diameter, I think, like two inches. But not, I've been a lot of work, so I shouldn't do that. I should mention that this tree that I cut down, it's not totally dead. It ended up, that's why I left it here. <laughs> so I thought it might sprout back. Oh, these are dying now. It did have some leaves this year. It's not doing great, but it did grow some leaves. So I thought there was a chance it might come back. If not, I've got a pretty decent chunk left that would probably make some good boards. Might buy that thing for the chainsaw to to cut it into boards if I take that 
that one down. The park bench boards, I had a few extras and they warped pretty badly. So I just got this idea that maybe if I put some weight on them and leave it for a while, it might warp, take the warp out, bend back. Yeah, I'm not sure how well that's going. Actually, that one here looks pretty good. The little one on the front here. Uh, the one behind it, it looks like it's warping the other way now. These are just spare boards, so if one of them breaks, I just thought I'd make a couple extras.